Hey guys, it's Miranda. So, um, I just wanted to pop in real quick to let you know that I did add a clip at the end of this video. So make sure you watch all the way to the end because I have a little bit of closure, but you'll have to watch the video to see what happened. So make sure that you stay till the end. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Hey everyone, it's Miranda from Diamond Pain with the Besties. How are you? Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new, welcome. So I wanted to try something a little different. Um, currently all of my normal filming areas have a project going on. So I thought that this time, um, that I would do a face to face and hold things up because this unboxing has nothing to do with an actual canvas. It is diamond painting, but these are all special projects. So the company I ordered from was DIY Digital Art and I found some really fun things um, on here and some are drills and chills um, appropriate. And since we are currently in the month of smashing the specials over with Brandy and Mindy, I figure that these would be some great options as well in case you're interested and I will link everything below. So let's get into it. So I have four things to show you. And one of the things I think they included in here because I didn't order it. So we'll do that first. The first little thing in here is this little packet. And these look like stickers, but then there's this like string. So I wonder if, if these are like, cause these are all Halloween themed, if it makes like a little garland. So let me open this up real quick. And that way you can make sure that we can see everything. And you guys get to see my smiling face. So it comes with, you know, your basic kit with some baggies. And then we have our special drills and we'll do these first since they're already open. So we have, and they're the good ones because they come on that dark, with that dark strip. So we have some gold crystals. We have, I think some brown, some lighter brown. We have some green, more gold. Looks like an orange right here. We have some some purple, some yellow, some more orange, and then we have some clear crystal ones right here. So we have a lot of fall type colors right here. So, and then here is this long string and it comes with two of them. So that's why I'm wondering if you can make like a garland out of them. So here are our, I think, they are, oh, I think they're like stickers or something. Let's open this up. Or maybe the string. Oh, I know what this is. Maybe you need cut the string and then you make little ornaments out of these. And let me, you guys can watch me just make all sorts of noise with this cr crinkling and I get my little cutter right here because I can't get into this at all. Yeah, so they're not even stickers. They're just like cardboard. They might be stickers. I don't know. I don't want, let me, do they have a back on them? No, they do not. They do not have a back on them. So we have a broom. We have a skull with some candles. We have a witch's hat, scary pumpkin, a moon with the bats, another scary pumpkin. We have a ghost, spider web with a big old spider, a little pumpkin house or a little red house right here, and another pumpkin with a witch's hat. And then, you drill the area, you know, there's plastic on the front of these, you just peel it back. And then there's a hole right up here. And then you probably just string this like this and you can cut it and make little ornaments or one big, like two different garlands or whatever. So that's really cool. So thank you DIY Digital Art for sending me those little extra goodies. Keep that to the side. All right, these next two things, 
one is Halloween inspired and I've been seeing Reese and all other stuff like that. So I found these door plaques and I thought it would be fun to hang them on my craft room door during the holidays. So this is a trick or treat one and I'm just going to open it up um, and show you the drills real quick. So, oh, in this tool kit, don't toss it. Make sure you get the string. It's like a little uh, rope type string to hang it up with. We've got our pack of drills right here and it looks like there is two, one, two, just four colors. We have some orange, yellow, and black and a darker orange. And then here, what it looks like out of the plastic and this seems like a plywood or wood type right here and you just peel this plastic back and it's sticky and you just drill this whole thing and make a sign make the sign out of it and I thought that was really really cool I liked this one the next one I'm not going to take out um well I'm not going to take out but I'm going to take everything out so I, I got this for my aunt um and there's a drill a stray drill floating around. Um, I got this for my aunt, so I don't know if she's gonna watch this or not, but uh, hopefully she won't because this is gonna be part of her Christmas present. I keep like looking over there for some reason, even though I should be looking straight ahead. Anyway, it says, all guests must be approved by the cats. So I'm gonna make this for her. It'll be one of her Christmas presents right here. And I'm just going to pull the drills out to show you guys, or maybe not. These are really like packaged on here. And if I'm taking too long, you know, you guys can fast forward through the struggling parts. So this also has, this has five colors. We have some gray, grayish green. We've got yellow, um, a brown, and then we have a black right here. And it looks like it kind of has a, a speckly type um, background. There's some confetti up here, but it's mostly color blocking. You've got your cat with a big old paw print on there. And I'll link all this, um, everything down in the description below in case you would like to purchase one of these. Now this next one right here, that I got this for Bella for Christmas time because it can never be too early for Christmas. And here's the thumbnail on it. So it's like this little cactus like night light, I believe, or like light for her room. So I thought that would be like really, really fun because I've never gotten anything like that before. So basic pumpkin spice toolkit. Then it has these two little things and we'll see where they insert, but I believe that these are the little legs. So it can uh, prop up right here. Ooh, these are special drills, you guys. So we'll definitely get into these. But here it is, right here. Um, it takes um, two AA batteries and you just put them in here and then there's a little light switch right there. So I hope that it works. And... I am not quite sure where the legs go on here, but all right, oh. So this does slide out and it has the protective film right here. And then you do your special drills and that is really, really sticky. But these are so cool, look how cute that is. And then when you're done, and it's a nice sturdy plastic frame. Once you're, I mean, I think either way that you could probably drill on this um while it's in the frame too because i wonder if it would be too difficult to do it um out of the frame you know what i mean so let me see where this okay uh, would go so it doesn't go in there at all Oops. This popped out so you can get the screws out. I don't know why you would want to do that, but these were in there, but there's one missing out of here. 
So I'm not quite sure what that is, what these are at all, but um, I guess I will figure it out because that would make very much sense because it doesn't fit. If you guys know what these little things are for, let me know. I have absolutely no idea, but that is that. And let me show you these special drills real quick. So what do you guys think of this new way I'm doing it? I don't plan on making it permanent, but uh, drop a comment below and let me know what you think. Um, keep it this way, or maybe sometimes, or only for certain things. So, okay, so the first thing we have a loose bag of these super awesome snowflakes. Look how cool that is. Special drills right there. So then we have some regular rhinestones right here. We have some regular, yeah, just regular black drills. Then we've got some red. And I believe these look like ABs to me. So we have some red AB. We have some green crystal. We have some of those little orange uh, teardrop that like usually used for like um, claws. Yeah, sorry, claws. But I think those are for little lights on the cactus. And then we have some iridescent teardrop ones. And then we have some super beautiful faceted rounds right here. And then that I think also supposed to look like snowflakes. And then we just have some round crystals right there. So that is for a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different special drills for this one. I just thought it was really cute and Bella liked it and it'd be cute to light up and have in her room. And hopefully I can figure out how to get it propped up. And let me just throw these. Well, I'll just do it later. All right, so this last thing that I got right here, the biggest one for last, everyone has been doing these wreaths. And so I was like, why not let me try one? Because I decided that I was going to put it up on this door right here that is into my craft room. Behind me, you have the crafting closet. Some of my storage right here that I do have to severely organize, but anyway. So this one is the wood type one. Once again, pumpkin slice toolkit. There's a big old thing of drills right here. Okay, and it does come wrapped in protective bubble wrap. And I got this for fall. And I thought that it was really, really, really cool. Now, I have no idea how I'm supposed to hang it, though, at all. If you guys know how I'm supposed to hang this, unless there is something that I find in here, which I don't see. And there is nothing else in the box. Yeah, there's no string, no nothing. Let me know how I'm supposed to hang this. Maybe I'd get a command strip or something, but I really liked it. I thought it was really, really pretty. We have our sunflowers and our pumpkins. We have a little birdhouse. We have a bow, and so this one is a little more, um, it's not, I don't know what it's made out of because it's not, maybe it's plastic, but it just has like a paper type background, but it doesn't sound, it just looks like the, the plastic here. So it's pretty pliable. And then you just peel this protective film off and then drill away, but it is a full drill for the most part. I don't know if you consider this a partial or not. But I loved all the colors and the fruits. Now, it could be spring, I guess, but there's because there's tulips, but there are pumpkins in it. So to me, I would use this for fall. I'd use this for fall. Let's get into our drills. 
I hope everyone is having a great day and their week is going all right. This is a big old thing of special drills, which would be perfect for smashing the specials right here. Oh yeah, we have a lot. So let's see, we have some iridescent marquee. We have some larger faceted iridescent marquee. We have some blue teardrop right here. We have some half pearls right here. We have some red half, little red half ones here. We have some blue. We have some yellow AB drills, I think. No, I'm sorry, those are those yellow uh, rounded gems right there. We have some light purple crystal. We have some blue crystals, some more blue crystals, more green, a lighter shade of green, and even another shade, lots of greens. We have a brown type orange. We have another blue. We have some more of a pinky color. We have yellow crystals, a big old bag of orange crystals, and then we have a bag of red crystals. So, lots going on. I think that's going to be super, super pretty. I am kind of bummed, like, these last, these last two I just opened. I don't really quite know how I'm supposed to um, showcase them in my home. If you guys have any um, ideas or you know, if you could let me know by dropping me a comment. I would really, really appreciate it because these are basically like my first special projects that I have um, going on right now. So any help would be greatly, greatly appreciated. So let's recap. So all items, this is from DIY Digital Art. I really love this site. Um, there's more things, more things to come from them. So recap, we have our pretty autumn wreath. We have our Christmas, Christmas light cactus right here, two AA batteries, lots of special drills. It's going to be super, super cute. I put it in, I put it in, I turned, had it backwards for you guys. Here, that's better. We have our two signs for the door. And then that little special gift that they sent me with the little um, different Halloween characters with the gems and then these long strings to either make ornaments out of them or gift tags out of them or a garland, whatever you want to do. I'm sure there is no wrong way to craft with these. I just have, you just have to figure out what you want to do with them. All right, you guys. Other than that, that's all I have for you. Um, it was great talking with all of you, and I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. And I will talk to you later. I hope you have a fabulous rest of your week. Make sure to be safe and be kind. Bye. Hey, guys. So guess what? I figured out how to get the light to stand up. I just had to pop out one of those little white tabs, like you saw, that was covering up one of the screws. And then you take those legs and you put it in the back like this and it stands up perfectly. And I can just leave them in there because this part slides out if you remembered. So the only thing I need help on still is that wreath. I have no idea how to hang that wreath and I'm looking for some, some suggestions. All right, so thank you. I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye.